Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning. It's February 1st, and um, let's have a little bit of fun on today's video. All right, I thought one of the first things we'd do is finish up a little tour of my artwork from yesterday. Here you have a photo of my daughter. She rides pretty much at the national level, so this is at the U.S. Pony Finals uh, last summer, and then she actually rode at the Washington International Show uh, last November and actually took Grand Champion, if you can believe that. Anyway, it's just a nice photo of her. That's one of those ones you pay for. Then we just come across here, and what we've got is a couple pictures from our Alaska vacation several years ago. You can tell my my son is uh, bigger than I am now, so this is a couple years ago. Anyway, this is just the trip where we showed our kids or where their mom and dad met. Here's one my wife actually got. This is, uh, this is National Geographic worthy, probably. It's a breaching whale. Uh, she's pretty proud of that. Here's Sunset at the ranch we go to. I really apologize for the reflections. I don't know how to make them go away too much. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, and this will end the art tour, is just show you the other side. So my wife got a baby moose feeding or playing with her mom. That's in Wyoming. And then this is my son several years ago with my father-in-law in, in, uh, in Tokoy, Hungary. This came from Thailand. And then actually let's get onto the channel here. So this is something I get to, all my people, uh, everybody who comes visit me sees this. So. The Viper Owner uh, Invitational uh, last fall. So that's me and my Viper at the starting line. Pretty proud of that photo, actually. And then my uh, security officer, I always make him nervous, so my security officer brought this in. All right, end of the tour. So let's talk the Viper for a minute. If you follow, uh, follow us on Instagram, you saw Pat Roel take this photo and post it to Instagram last night. So I just wanted you to see it because I... I'm like a little kid, I can't believe how perfect that car turned out. So this is real kudos to Shane at InChain Designs. Um, so it's 100% done, it is ready for the show, and it just catches so much attention that they just went ahead and posted this up. So I wanted you to see it. And I want to show you how I keep it on my screen. This is how I look at it. Um, so it just stays a little bit larger, but I love that the I love what they did with the uh, visor. They're actually making another one. This is their draft version, but uh, I thought it looked sick. So I just wanted you to see that. So it's nice to have a little bit of Viper content in here. So let's talk a little bit about racing today. Uh, getting the Viper looking as good as it is, and I know they're moving on to the Camaro, and actually it'll look just as good. Um, kind of got me inspired, and it's kind of getting that time of year where we need to start planning and thinking about our 2018 race season. So please keep in mind I've had one race season. I wouldn't even call it a whole one yet. It is, you know, I started really last May or June and then this race season here in the DC area pretty much ends on about November 1st and it's been, um, it's been closed. Both, both the tracks I go to, both my drag track and my uh, circuit tracks have been closed really since November and I think they're gonna stay that way you know they've announced schedules in the last few days it looks like they're gonna stay closed until we get into kind of the May time frame I uh, may sorry March time frame and so I just thought I'd talk about it a little bit and so this comes from a, a novice to beginner to slight intermediate person um, and some of you, I'm sure, are way more experienced with me. But one thing I committed to you back when we started the channel was that we'd become a place for people to learn how to start. How do you start drag racing? And what's that experience like? And how do you start track racing? And what is that experience like? Um, so that's what today is. Today will be a start. And based on questions and things that you all ask, we'll continue down the road here. But we'll start today. And so we'll talk about some of the things I learned last year and then what I've done today to get to get started with my 18 season. So we talk, you know, us regular people say racing or race days. 
but I think the legal eagles and the insurance people hate that word, hate the word race. So when you got into the world and you searches, if you're interested in starting, what you want to look for are uh, performance driving experiences, or they're called PDXs, or high performance driving experiences, HPDEs. So HPDEs and uh, PDXs are what I sign up for. Um, there's a series of, of organizations that do this. So I'm currently a member of two, um, Sports Car Club of America, SCCA, and Track Days with a Z, Track Days. So those are the two clubs I participate in. Um, they run a lot of the events near me. And I'll continue to, to learn as I go this year as well. So um, just in the last few days, I got an email from uh, the, the, they all seem to rely on the same company for scheduling and payments. It's called Motor, Motor Sport Reg. Uh, it's a Motor Sport R-E-G. And if you go there, you create an account, you put your credit card in, and that's where you register and sign up and schedule and pay for your track events. And so I just did that this morning. And so we are, we are registered now for three track events. It looks like the schedule's good through about May 1st. And the other thing I'll warn you about is they fill up. In particular, if you're in the beginner or novice class, um, you know, they, they only have so many instructors and they only allow so many. And so I know they do cap out. So I try to make my reservations a month or two in advance. And so as we get through February, you'll see me start registering for those May and June events, and then July and August, and then September, October. So you know, my goal is to race at least twice a month. Um, you know, get two track days in pretty much every month from March through October. Because um, at that point, I'll probably, I imagine I'll be an advanced racer or advanced solo racer even. Um, that'll be my goal. Um, I'd like to get my uh, my race license and so yeah, that's what the season will be about um, I'll take you through the learning process I'll take you through the advancement process um, I'm registered now as an in, uh, what they call an intermediate um, yeah an intermediate and so um, we'll talk about that in a minute as well so you'll see me hopefully go from advanced to advanced solo to potentially beginning the instructor series um, maybe onto my professional race license. We'll see, I don't really know where we're going, um, but it's a hell of a journey. So I'll talk about the actual, um, the race events. Um, so when you register for a race event, you have to click in and tell them what level you're at. And they basically start at novice, or sometimes beginner, uh, and then intermediate, and then advanced, and then pro, and then maybe instructor, or and so they, they use different words, but there's essentially four or five levels that you proceed through from novice through pro or instructor. And so, you know, my first couple of uh, race events last year were as novice. Um, after about eight or nine track events, the instructor moved me and said, uh, move me to, to intermediate, and so that's what I'm registered as. Now I'm hoping after two or three race events, uh, we'll, we'll move into the advanced group. Um, having a Viper um, scares people. When you show up as a novice uh, with a Viper, it scares the instructors and frankly, it scares the rest of the participants. And so <clears throat> they want really do want to evaluate you. If you have a supercar and, and you're a beginner, that makes them nervous because you kill people. We actually had an instructor get killed uh, the year before I started going because there was a beginning driver who came out of control and hit a tree, hit a tree and uh, hit it on the passenger side door and killed his instructor. So these people um, are really, truly are putting their lives on the line when they crawl in a car with us. So I've done three registrations, so let's go through them real quick. I just, uh, you know, I always wanna do this uh, publicly for you. So the, the first event that we'll be racing at is a PDX event with SCCA, it's Saturday. March 10th will be at the uh, Summit Point Raceway. That's where most of my track events are gonna be this year, I think. The next one will be Sunday, uh, April 8th, and that's another SCCA PDX event. And the third one is Sunday, uh, April 29th, and that is an SCCA autocross event. It's at the uh, Redskins Stadium, the FedEx Field. Um, 
And so that'd be my first true uh, autocross. I've done some, uh, I've done a few, but they, this will be the most serious one. So those are the three events we're registered for right now. I'll continue to keep you up to date on those. Um, and so when you register and you go, one of the first things they'll do is they'll put you through a series of classroom sessions. And so you'll probably have three or four classroom sessions and then uh, they usually commit to having you out on the track for four races. They're um, the 30 minute races. Um, and there's just a whole process of getting checked in and, I, and I'll walk you through that at another video. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do it all in one video, but the check-in process, the vehicle inspection process, um, you know, getting you with your instructor, going through the classroom, getting on the grid, you know, entering the track, uh, conducting yourself during the race, um, and getting off the track. So we'll walk through all of those, but those will be nice, um, I think, nice 10 minute videos. We'll make a, a series of what it's like to, to go to your first race. Um, but I just wanted to kind of get get this session right straight on car content today and race content. So. The Viper's ready, the Camaro's almost ready. Uh, we got uh, Motorama in a couple weeks, and race season is, uh, you know, it's time to get planning for race season. So if you wanna come to one of these, if you live close enough, you wanna see this thing real, please do. Um, you know, if you have questions about what is it like to get started, what is it like for your first event, what is it like for your first season, please post those questions. And uh, you know you know how this works now. Um, I'll use your questions to drive the future content. But we'll do a series of four or five getting ready to race. And then I'll take you through the first track event. And then we'll just see how the season progresses. So that's really it. It's pretty exciting. Um, it's still a ways out. It feels exciting today, but it is February 1st. So we have about five more weeks um, before we get ourselves on the track. But it's great to be here. It's great to... Uh, you know, be close enough that these things are getting posted and we can get scheduled. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, I learned so much last year and the car is even um, even more ready. I think I'm more ready. Uh, we'll, we might even do some race setups on the suspensions and things. Guys, that's it. Have a great Thursday. Um, ask questions as always. If it's your first time, you know, please subscribe. Please get involved. Uh, please stay connected. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.